So what about actual results? Well, the actual results are in for my gut bacteria test and it's optimal. And this is where testing really annoys me. And I want to just tie into diet because I sent off my uh, poop sample and it came back and it said my gut bacteria was optimal. So why am I cross about this? Well, it was actually their conclusions. And this also applies to blood. So they said my gut bacteria was fantastic. It was optimal. Then they looked at bad bacteria and I got the best score you could get. There was no bad bacteria. One of the bacteria that they um, actually said, even a trace of this is really bad. Zero trace. Then it scored my diet. Now, remember, I've done the health profile. I've been absolutely completely honest about the fact I was carnivore. And I didn't eat any fruit, didn't eat any veg. I didn't have any medications. I was 61, no medications. I'm really fit and healthy. And they've just told me that my gut bacteria, the good bacteria is optimal, use that word. Uh, the bad bacteria, the levels are optimal. My diet scored out of five, uh, uh, zero. And I have written to the lab to say, well, where's the joined up thinking? because surely what I'm doing is working. So why is my diet zero? What would you change? How can you change optimal? How can you change the bad bacteria being absolutely absent? How can you come to that conclusion? It's not joined up thinking. You have to look at your symptoms or your, or your clinical presentation and make some sort of judgment. Now, I would totally understand a zero score for the carnivore diet on my gut health assessment if I had tons of bad bacteria and I didn't have any optimal bacteria or beneficial bacteria. So no joined up thinking.